Hey everybody, hey, I'm sitting uh, outside uh, an appointment waiting for my wife to come out. I thought I'd share a few thoughts from this week. Um, I just had a closing two days ago with a fantastic family, one I'm really honored I got to work with and help find their home. But I want to talk a little bit about, you know, what realtors and buyers are going through um, and, and some of the conversations you need to have. Um, these buyers, um, I helped them rent several years ago. They called me this year, they were ready to, to buy. Um, I said, okay, let me come over to your house. So we, I came over to their house, we sat at their kitchen table, and, and a few a few discussion topics your your agent better have with you early on, and, and one is financial thresholds. Um, you know, I need to understand, in this market, you know, there's a lot of multiple offers, a lot of, uh, you know, may, having to go above this price at times, offering to pay, title cost, um, lease backs, um, pay for the survey if necessary, a lot of concessions the buyers are making right now. And I had to understand, you know, do my clients have that ability to compete in that market in the multiple offers? If not, there's there's other strategies. We, we will look at some different options, but you can't compete on the brand new to the market, um, you know, uh, first weekend on the market homes then. Um, luckily, these clients could. Um, luckily, these clients had had the financial resources to, to compete for to a degree. Um, they couldn't write a blank check but uh, they could compete. I felt we could compete and, and win a house. Um, you know, I have had clients that, you know, are, are first-time buyers, and, and that's where I was when I got my first home. No, I, I could not go 25000 over list and have to come out of pocket above appraisal and all that. And for those people, um, you know, we need to look at new construction. Our homes have been on the market for... 10 days or more and are not fighting the multiple offers. But these, these clients could. We had some very honest discussions about it and I, I was very honest that this is what you're gonna run into. We're we're probably not gonna get the first or the second or the third offer that we put in. Um, and and it, it rang true. I mean, I, I think it was the sixth offer we put in on a home and uh, before, before we, we got the home for them. Um, and it's very frustrating for, for the realtor especially. Um, because I'm invested into it too, and I'm rooting for my clients, but uh, especially for the buyers, because I mean, they, you know, we, we look at 10 houses and maybe there's two they really like, and, and you know, you put you put offers in, and uh, you know, you, you put an aggressive offer, you give the seller everything you think you could, and uh, for whatever reason, sometimes somebody else made a better offer. Um, you know, twice out, out of the six offers we made, twice, you know, uh, five times I had to give them bad news. And twice, you know, the, 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 the wife texted me, you know, pretty quickly and like, I don't even know why we're trying this process. This is ridiculous. We're having to overpay for a house. We're, you know, we're, we're giving them everything. The seller's just being greedy, you know. Um, maybe we'll just stay renting. And, and I had to go back to some of the, you know, and, and, you learn the psychology of who you're working with and how you can talk to them and, and what conversations to have. Um, you know, I went back to the kitchen table talk we had, talking with these, these clients and, you know, what was their why? Why did they want to quit renting and start owning? And, and you know, a lot of it's common sense. You know, it's going to be their equity on a house going forward. They're the ones going to be making equity, getting net worth gain. Um, you know, quit paying a landlord, pay yourself, that that stuff. But they also want a place, you know, for their, they have two kids and, and they wanted a place to call theirs. Um, they wanted to be able to paint the walls and bedrooms, whatever color they wanted, instead of a landlord dictating. They wanted to be able to have, you know, whatever pets they wanted, not the landlord's agreement that, uh, you know, said zero pets or one pet. Um, you know, they wanted a place to call theirs in Texas. And, you know, which, which I'm all in favor of, um, you know, but, you know, a couple of times, you know, she texted me like, you know, we, we may just keep renting. This is too, too frustrating, too ridiculous. And, and she even, she even told me, you know, I needed, after we lose a house, I need a day to cool down and, 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 you know, get refocused. And, you know, I, I gave her some space. I, you know, I kind of reminded them that, you know, this is what we talked about, that this was going to be a difficult process till we get your home, you know, and usually the next day, okay. These two new homes came on the market. Let's go see them today or tomorrow. Um, but, you know, it's just psychologically, it's tough on buyers when you lose a house. It's tough on your agent because I thought we made some incredible offers on some homes and, and was pretty confident we'd get them. And when I when I see uh, get a notification from our showing system that, hey, the sellers accept a different offer or I get a text, sorry, they accept a different offer. It's really tough. And buyers in this market in Dallas, Fort Worth and, and probably across the nation have to be prepared for it. But your agent has to prepare you for it, too. Um, you know, I it's so important to have that first sit down talk and talk about the financial thresholds you have, your why, how motivated are you? Because some people are like, well, if I get a house, I get a house. Um, you know, and, and that's that's going to be tough to succeed because um, they're probably not going to make the strong enough offers um, to win 
at times. But, you know, with people that really have their whys lined up and they can tell you several reasons they want a house, um, we'll get it. But it's it's going to be a, a challenging process at times. And uh, I'm so glad for them that it did work out. I can't wait to see them moved into their house. But just want to talk to you about, you know, what buyers are going through, what their agents are going through. And uh, if you got questions about the Dallas-Fort Worth market, um, I'm here to help you. I'll put all my contact info below. And uh, you have a great day.